My brothers and sisters, last Sunday the Holy Father announced that he has appointed 17 new cardinals. 16 of them are bishops and one is a priest. Father Ernest Simoni is a priest from Albania who has been appointed directly a cardinal by the Holy Father. Because he's been such a great witness to the life of the, of the faith and witness to Christ through his persecution in Albania over many years. In 1963 he was arrested by the Albanian secret police and imprisoned, tortured, beaten, made to work as a slave labourer and was remained in prison until 1990. During the time in prison he remained a man of prayer. He would celebrate mass whenever he could from memory. Uh, he would minister to the other prisoners who were with him, hearing their confessions and caring for them in the middle of the terrible struggles and difficulties that they had. Cardinal Simone is a great reminder to all of us about the importance of prayer in our lives. In our arts diocese at the, at the moment there are many things that uh, preoccupy us as we look to our future and try to figure out what it is the Lord is asking of us to be his faithful disciples as we live in the world today. Cardinal Simone reminds us that this must be accompanied by a really intense period of prayer on our part. All of us as individuals and as a community need to make sure that we take all of our endeavours to prayer later before the Lord and ask the Lord to bless what it is that we are attempting to do. It's a very ancient prayer of the church where we pray that the Holy Spirit may be the inspiration of all that we do, that the power of God and the Spirit will sustain what it is that we do and help us in our endeavours, and that the Holy Spirit will bless what we do and bring it to a fruitful conclusion. This certainly needs to be the prayer that we all have to make at the moment, asking the Lord to look after our archdiocese and look after us and care for us, sustain us and guide us as we go about this, uh, this work of renewing our church in today's world. There are many issues that we need to pray about. We need to have the faith that understands that when we call upon the Lord for his help, that he will always answer and come to our aid. We need to pray now as we approach this important moment of uh, the development of the life of our archdiocese.